Welcome everybody, my name is Satrakus and this is Never Miss Historia, show in which we are going to explore odd and disturbing secrets of video games. In today's episode, my goal will be to reveal for you bizarre connections and parallels between Stephen King's Magnum Opus, the Dark Tower series, and everyone's favorite post-apocalyptic top-down roguelike shooter, Nuclear Throne. First, let's start with the basics. Both books and the game take place in post-nuclear war world. Dangerous mutants and no less threatening self-conscious robots aren't a rarity. Of course, both elements are common in other post-apocalyptic creations, just to mention Wasteland or Fallout series. But tell me, how many of these feature malfunctions of time-space structure? For example, one of the core mechanics of Nuclear Throne are portals, which transport our character from location to location. In the Dark Tower also exists a variety of objects capable of teleporting people, including crystals of Merlin's rainbow or so-called Phoenix. Furthermore, in King's novels, as mentioned before, time and space are inconsistent. Distances stretch, directions of the world move, and not once happened that night would stay for as long as it's necessary to tell a story. Now, look at Nuclear Pro. Locations change during the loops, which is odd considering we are supposed to be back in already visited levels. Possible explanation would be simply procedural generation. But this one, in game's lore, is explained by parallel universe theory, which I will talk about later. However, if space of Entis war truly is cues, then the generation of locations would make a lot of sense. We reached the throne, but didn't fix anything. As we were away, world changed its shape moved on. Time stretches are also present, with permanent night on character select screen and permanent day during playthrough. Another interesting parallel is the fact that final goals of main character's quests in both the Dark Tower and Nuclear Throne are reflected in their titles. Are those goals any similar though? Let's see. The Dark Tower is a legendary place that is supposed to be able to fix world's disintegration. Many doubts in its existence. Despite that, Roland and his allies follow their seemingly random path, believing it leads to a tower. We believe in Ka, destiny. Nuclear Throne is also a semi legendary place that all mutants believe in and is supposed to fix world's problems. It may have something to do with portals and IDPD as well. Although portals throw them around almost randomly, mutants are sure they lead to the throne. Sounds familiar? Parallels go on and on, although many of them are the loose guesses or heavy spoilers. For example, are mutants Katet, one out of many, bound by Kaman Ka? Or is the fact that Ice character is blue and unable to speak refers to Roland, known from his cold blue eyes of Sniper and not being very talkative? Or is it just a coincidence that in loading screen text Rusty Revolver is called Ancient, like all guns in the Dark Tower's mid-world? Or maybe... Yeah, maybe. But those are, as mentioned before, just guesses. Our final, ultimate proof comes from another loading screen text. Proof that parallels between King's novels and Blumber's game aren't accidental or just product of my mad mind. Said text states, there are other worlds out there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exact quote from the first book of the Dark Tower series, The Gunslinger. This line comes back in next books throughout the whole Serious, and even becomes one of mottos of the sixth book. And while there are other pop cultural references in loading screen text, they are either bound to certain characters, weapons, etc., or seem to refer to those. However, this line feels a little out of place, doesn't it? Especially that it shows up purely on random. It would suggest that it refers to the game as a whole. But how? Except for IDPD, there doesn't seem to be an alternative universe, right? Well, JW went on record, saying that every time you die in the game, mutant really 
dies and you start in another universe. While Roland's Catet also traveled to other worlds, including one from King's novel The Stand. One of the characters even used to change version of USA he lived in every week. And playing empty, we also run into fictional wars on our way, including Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sewer. It reinforces even further the link between the Dark Tower and Nuclear Throne, becoming our final proof. So, who knows? Maybe one day Fifth will run, pardon, roll into Roland on the desert. Or why we will do a Blaine Mono? Who knows? After all, it's just another level of the tower. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.